on the left side, you'll see a picture that we received. It was really interesting because it's so timely right now. So the roses that we're starting to see on the left side, the picture, we're starting to see some different spots that are showing up. The picture is a great picture because we like to see it from a distance to see how it looks overall. Is what is happening to the plant occurring throughout the entire plant or just portions of the plant? So that's a great first start of a picture that we like to see when you all send us pictures and ask us to help identify what the issue might be. On the right side would be what happens to a rose bush if we don't try to control what we're starting to see in the left picture. And everybody's going to go, oh my gosh, what is happening? That rose bush is going to die. And so we're looking at that. And what I'm going to show you in the next slide here is a close up of this. And as we look at this, what we see are what we call window panes, where essentially it's an insect. The rose sawfly is actually an insect that's doing the damage. And you can see where the veins are still here. And in between the veins, essentially the insect is kind of getting in there and sucking out all of the soft tissue and eating it. Now, if you look really closely, you can actually see the rose sawfly in this particular picture. There's two of them. There's one that's going to be right here, and it's a little larva. It's kind of green and then looks a little more yellowish or yellow green. There's a second one that's right up here, and you can see the yellow portion and the green portion. So this is the portion or the larva stage of the rose sawfly that's actually doing the damage to the roses. So what happens is, is this overwinters. So in early spring, the adult will come out of the soil. It will actually go to the undersides of the plant leaves that it likes. And in this case, it's the rose bush. And so the adult is going to lay the eggs on the underside of the leaves. And then after a couple of weeks, those eggs are going to hatch. They're going to hatch as the larva, which are those two that I just showed you here. And then the larva will be feeding on the rose bush for several weeks. And then once it's done with its feeding, it will drop from the leaves and go back into the soil and pupate. So what's happening to this rose bush, it's happening at this point right now. The rose bush has plenty of time to be able to re-leaf out again. So for a while, your rose bush may not look very well, but don't fret, it will start to come back. The other thing that we need to know is there are several things that you can do once you start seeing this happen or occurring. So the first picture over here, when you're starting to see your roses look like this, go and take those leaves, look at the underside of the leaves, see if you're seeing any indications of any eggs that have been laid. If so, you can just take a hose with a hard spray, but not too hard that it's gonna damage the leaves or the plant, but hose off the plant really well, especially the undersides of the leaves. And what that will do is try to break those eggs from the bottom of the leaves and push them back down into the ground so that they will not be able to hatch. Or if they do, they'll have a hard time getting back into the plant as the larva to do damage to your particular rose bush. There are some sprays that you could use. And again, if you do use those sprays and the insecticides, you can find it at generally any of your big box stores or nurseries or hardware stores and it will be specific for the roses. You can use that spray if you so choose, and if you do use the chemical, make sure you spray the underside of the leaves because that's where the eggs are going to be before they hatch out. But again, a non-chemical way of controlling this or try to prevent it from a severe infestation is to just take a hose and squirt them off of the bush themselves.